Murphy. It's real important not to rush these dogs. Real important. This girl right here has always been in a little shell. I mean, do it natural reasoning. She was, uh, you always had the one in the litter that kind of gets picked on by the others. There's nothing, no, no fault of nobody. Just, it's, I mean, it's Mother Nature's kind of how it happens. They're animals. They're dogs. So, uh, yeah, she was just kind of a little, a little more timid. I mean, has everything, everything you want, just a little more timid. So, uh, she wouldn't even touch this rope. I mean, she'll try to take it from another one gently but yeah she needed time so uh brought her in the house been raising her in and out the house kind of letting her experience a lot of stuff early being she had this problem and uh it definitely takes patience from both ends it takes patience from both ends i know she had to be patient with me and i definitely had to be patient with her but it was well worth the wait getting her ready for a, a new home a little partnership so you'll probably be seeing some more of her come on girl come here come on come on come on see i mean it's really ain't the same dog <laughs> But it takes time, so I tell you, try to tell everybody, and give them time. I mean, at least speaking with this, with our bloodline, I'm not gonna say ours, heavy red boy Jeep, and uh, with the dogs we've been working with for years, you have something that come out automatically, just booming, and then you have always have one or two that kind of take time. But I'll tell you like this. I don't, I'll say I can just take five dogs off top within the last maybe 10, 20 years and I can take only one that wasn't worth the wait. So uh, I definitely recommend, definitely recommend giving them time. Don't be so quick to, to rush them. Don't be so quick to breed them. Don't be so quick to quit on them. I mean, got to think about it. They're going to give you what you give them. So, if you're a quitter, what do you think they're going to do? Come here. It takes patience. So, of course, she still has a lot more to go. She's uh, getting picked up this afternoon. So, she'll have some uh, new experiences coming to her. See how she does, but again, time. All right, guys, give it time. All right, don't get these dogs and try to do 101 things. You know, it's also why it's a whole other topic. Why I don't believe in doing the 300 dogs, 500 dogs. Pop, you know, you can get a puppy for $300, $500, you know, whatever. Why? Because people rush. People rush. You ain't gonna buy a Benz and take it to the track. But you get you a Honda Civic. Talking about price-wise, you may just think about it. See what I'm saying? Not saying other dogs are this and our dogs are that. I'm just saying I'm talking about price. If you pay a price for a Honda Civic, you know, them numbers, but you got money for a Benz, but you buy that Honda Civic, what you think you're gonna do with it? You're gonna play with it. But you get that Benz, oh yeah, you're gonna let it sit. You're gonna let it uh, keep it right, keep it clean. You know, you're gonna keep it A1. You're gonna give it time before you start uh, playing with it a little bit more you know what I mean so you gotta be honest with yourself are you quitting on them or are they quitting on you all right y'all
Take it. Cheers.